Good morning. I'm still pregnant. I am uh, grabbing a minute to record today's video while I water the garden. It's like the moment of the day when it's quiet outside and where it's cool outside. We are expecting another heat wave to start today um, and it's supposed to get up to like maybe 110 or something like that, which I'm not excited about. But I'm just gonna cope and try to give the garden some extra water today. So I'm um today as this video is going out, 39 weeks and no sorry, 38 weeks and six days. Um, so full term on Labor Day, which I am hoping is a good omen. <laughs> I'm still full of reckless optimism that I'm gonna go into labor this weekend. And I, uh, I know that that's probably not going to be the case. I have an appointment on the 8th, Tuesday. So the only real, like, reasonable hope is just that I am dilated to at least a one by then so that I can get a membrane sweep and maybe kick things off. So um, I'm filming this on Saturday, which is yesterday, because I haven't gotten around to it yet. Because I'm just enjoying my maternity leave as much as possible spending time with my daughter and we've been doing a lot of walking which is good because like the weather has been and you gotta see these clouds it's beautiful I don't always get a chance to enjoy it she's sleeping in for a chance or for a change this morning it's like 7 and she's not up yet um, she's usually up by like 6.30 and then I just have to try to get her to, you know, entertain something until 8 o'clock um, during the week. That's when Daniel Tiger comes on and I can water the garden and get breakfast ready and get dressed. We have a routine going and it's pretty good. Um, obviously, things are about to get very different with that routine. Sorry about the framing. So I'm actually doing something while I film this. So, um, new development this week. Uh, it's just like rash on your stretch marks on your belly and it's not fun it itches I don't even want to see it it's not I don't know if you can tell not super comfortable um, I also want to show you my basil it was huge and I um I trimmed off like because it, it kept bolting and so I was just coming out here and basically getting no leaves because I was just worrying about the blossoms so I harvested like a big bush of it made a giant best batch of pesto that lasted us like two and a half dinners um, and since then these are the bits that were in the shade of the major part of the plant um, so these this is all here um, part of the original plant um, and I just cut it off down I don't know if you can even see oh, right here I think it's where the main bush came off so those ones are this is all like growing now, getting bigger and looking healthy and gorgeous and just honestly getting bigger in the last week. And then this one here also has been getting bigger. This one was a, um, what's it called? Propagated cutting from the original plant. And then I have a couple more propagating inside. So hopefully in a couple more weeks, um, they will be big enough to plant out here and add some more. And who knows with this kind of climate, I might just be able to live off this basil plant for the rest of our gardening life. And then we've got a lot of parsley coming. So I get, let it get really bushy like this and then make a big batch of penne alla vodka. And then these little guys were the, um, uh, what's it called? Marigolds. And they, you know, the receded from the heads. And so we've got our first little bud coming there. So that's exciting. Corn was a total dud this year. So I had my appointment on Tuesday the 1st and I was zero centimeters dilated and 30% effaced, which I was pretty discouraged about. Um, it was the first time with this particular doctor and with Kaiser, which is sort of, I don't know, like it's, it's, I don't know how it works with a normal practice because we've had Kaiser the whole time. I like the convenience of it. 
but basically you just are kind of seen by who's whoever's available especially this year it's been really difficult for me to try to handpick my own doctor because availability has been limited and doctors have been moving around from office to office so it's hard to tell who's even based where i'm going to offices i've never been at before because the office that we usually go to for ob care is um, now a covid urgent care so i'm just as happy to not be in that building um but yeah so i was with a doctor i'd never seen before and i you know, she was fine she was very friendly and i would have i think really enjoyed hanging out with her um or maybe having an earlier appointment but i was feeling at a, a point where i just wanted someone with a little bit of more empathy and a little bit less um she was very she seemed like she was heading in a trajectory um of conversation and was going to get there no matter what um and so not like not not listening to me but I, I didn't feel super hurt um, and my concerns, which are basically that I really do want this feedback and I feel like 40 plus four is not unreasonable, but also like as the first time I've gotten into labor, it's not unreasonable for me to be a little bit worried that I might not get there in time. So that is what I'm just hoping for is to go into labor in my 39th week. Um, or maybe, hey, maybe I'll go into labor today and by the time you see this video, I'll be like, you know, heading to the hospital. Who knows? But um, yeah, that's just where I am right now. Just trying to do what I can, eating lots of dates, I guess. Who knows if that's what's helping me a face already um, or if that is just a delicious snack. <laughs> um, but doing lots of walking, yoga ball um, and some other stuff we're trying. I need to look up how to do this acupressure thing that apparently is supposed to help induce contractions. But like, oh, I was doing some hand expression and some pumping too, and it would cause a couple of contractions, but then they'd just go away. So I think my body's just not quite ready yet. So hopefully, I feel like any minute it could be. So that's where I am. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for staying subscribed. I will be, again, posting more videos twice a week as life permits. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the cool air before the heat wave comes and absolutely debilitates us for the rest of the day. <laughs> we have an AC in one room, so we're probably just going to sit in front of it and, um, and try to keep our daughter in there because she doesn't mind the heat nearly as much as we do. Um, and so, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's going to try to run off to her bedroom, which gets pretty warm and uh, play with us somewhere that doesn't have AC. So wish us luck. See you in the next video. Bye.